Mental Health Monday on KCAL 9 is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. It's Mental Health Monday, and today we take a look at a trend that's growing by leaps and bounds, knitting circles. Serene Branson shows us how some Angelinos are finding friends, a sense of accomplishment, and stress relief <laughs> through the centuries-old tradition. <laughs> I mean, there's not much calm in my life. But for a couple hours a week, James Wright feels completely at ease with himself and the world. James, who are you knitting all these hats for? I don't talk much when I knit, but I do like the conversation around me. Sophia! Oh, was that the little baby? James is part of a knitting circle. Knitting and crocheting has been done in a group for centuries, and it brings people together. Annette Orsino is owner of the Knitting Tree in Inglewood. The shop makes money selling vibrant yarns and offering a menu of classes. But what feeds her soul and that of the people who come in to hang out? Simply sitting around a table with busy hands. But it's a place of support. So if you come here and you screw up a little bit, you're, you're knitting, someone will say, don't worry, I got this, and they'll help you. So right away you have emotional support, you have support with your project. It really puts me in a state of zen. Freddie Mendoza also took up knitting to cope with anxiety. His therapist prescribed it as he works on a gift for a friend. It makes you stop really thinking about you know, things that make you worry, things that stress you out. My kids used to babysit her daughter. Like James, Freddie isn't much of a talker. He finds the chit chat around him, though, therapeutic. The psychiatrists that I've been to have been trying to throw like every kind of pill at me, you know, but this really like helps me so much. The shop is blanketed with cozy sweaters, crocheted stars, knitted scarves, and socks that were handmade in circles just like this. What's more, all the color and texture can impact mood. It can excite you, it can calm you down. A knitting circle is something anyone can start. If not in person, then on Zoom. Annette started her first one in 2001. Before I knew it, there's like 20 people in my kitchen. Especially in such challenging times. Truly, I say that knitting saves lives. Knitting is like sex. <laughs> yeah. If I like you, it's free. If I don't, you can't pay me enough. <laughs> Between the conversation and the pride that comes with creating beauty with your hands. It's healing. You have a sense of accomplishment because you've made something and you've made friends probably that you wouldn't have met anywhere else. Thank you.